Hey guys, quick video looking at the new Skaven that GW have just shown off. They won the, the Slaughter, sorry, the Slaughter at Hell Crown. Very original GW. Anyway, let's get on to the models because that's what matters. Vizic Scour. Okay, crap name. Nice model. It's nice. I'd really like to see a uh, a 360 spin of him, but that's really nice. Look at all the little rats everywhere. Bloody hundreds of them. That's beautiful. That's a really, really nice piece. Not sure who did that one, but bravo. Oh, here we go. We've got some more details. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. That's some really nice stuff there. Oh, even the little rat's got horns. I thought his ears were fucked up, but he's got, he's got little horns. Yeah, very nice model. Very well painted. Looks big though. I think it's going to be like a centerpiece model. Maybe 70 quid or something like that. Next up, Critic Foul Blade. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, balding rat. Lovely big sword of a skaven to carry the scabbard. It looks like he's got another dude here behind him. Can we see that? Oh yeah, there he is. He's, oh, he's holding his pistol. That's nice. I love this armour. Some would say it's quite unscaven like but I mean, if it's just on the one character model, then I think it just adds a bit of character and individuality. Is that a, a gap in the model, or is that designed to be that way? Normally they have little bits of stitching to show that it's... Because it's actually like the... Um, it's Critok's cloak that's covering him. So it'd be weird for that to be a bit of stitching. Although it is... I can't tell if that's lines that are made up in the actual sculpt to show that the cloak's been put together out of different bits and pieces well if these are just gaps that they've not bothered filling in there's too much of a uh, there's too much of a, a separation there for that to be a, a gap on the model surely that's also a little bit shit like see here his feet see the lack of separation there that's shoddy gw that's shoddy but overall yeah that's a really nice character model i like that a lot next up master molder yeah, it's another nice model. And the paint job's a little bit, a little bit messy. And doesn't really the details stick out. Oh, you've got like a little quatto rat here. How cool is that? Is he reloading the gun? He is. He's reloading the gun. That's awesome. And this great big pincer thing here. A little rat on the top of this. Another Tuma. More rats. These are all really nice. I mean, I know this character model is going to be about 20, you know, the, the wrong side of 20 quid each, but they look like lovely little painting projects. Storm Vermin. We've got new clan rats. Makes sense to get new Storm Vermin. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're not bad. They look nice. Yeah, nicely posed. Much more dynamic than the old ones. Yeah, they're really nice. Really nice. Yeah, now we've got rid of Skaven Slaves. I guess these are just like the... You've got your clan matches, your basic tier, and then these are just the, the first level elites here. So 10 in the box by the looks of things. That's going to that's gonna easily be 40 quid. But you know, they are nice models. They are nice models. Skaven are looking really good. You old you old world players, provided you can scale them correctly enough. From what I remember, these Skaven did look pretty small, so I think they will fit with old world. Maybe even designed for that purpose. You guys looking like you're sitting pretty. I mean, they even look like they rank up, to be honest, to a point. If you put on big enough bases. Arch Warlock. You mean Nicket Claw. That's Nicket Claw, isn't it? Yeah, that's also really nice. Again, GW just not quite nailing the separations here, in my opinion. See here where the hand meets the, the gun. There should be more, more shadow or something there, but better painters than I am. Love this fading. A triangular work they do. It's very, very nice. 
that's another really nice model. Not so much to say about it this time, I mean, it really does remind me of Vicky Claw, but yeah, it's nice. Nice detail, nice character. The well design these models at the moment, I mean, the Skaven really have impressed me. Warlock Galvan here. Mm, okay, this one's not so great. You can see the sort of mouth here, that's just one smooth bit of plastic, there's no separation there at all. That one is the first one I've seen that I'd be like, mm, I'm a little bit about paying the character model. I mean, you look at that, and then you look at that. There's a big difference between those as character models. This more looks like the kind of thing that might have ended up in an underworld warband or something like that. But again, this weapon's cool. I like it. You know, you've got the warp stone powering, whatever the hell this is. Uh, is it, uh, warp vault obliterators. It's always warp something. But yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. New Globideas. Yeah, they look great. Much more dynamic than the old ones. Five is going to sit about 35, I reckon. These are going to be slightly bigger models and stuff. Yeah, they've got these backpacks, what have you. So they'll, they'll be expensive for five, but... Yeah, I can't deny it. They're really nice models. Lots of individuality on them. We've got different backpacks. They'll look really nice. Lots of nice little details. I mean, compared to the, what we're getting in Warhammer 40,000 at the moment, these still have that kind of old world aesthetic they're, they're a little bit more heavily detailed these days and can take a lot longer because paint but they've still they've stepped away from that age of sigma warcraft except uh, aesthetic that they're going for that I, I really just did not like at all although again here this, this black painting it, it's i know you've got to do something but honestly i think i'll just snip that off it just doesn't look good but yep yeah, lovely warp spark weapon battery Oh man, they're awesome. This crazy dude in the mask here. He's got a little ammo feeder dude. You got this one down here. <laughs> this one down here just looks like a really pissed off rat. Very nice, yep, really nice, really nice. I'm not seeing a lot I don't like here. Uh, warp grinder. Looks slightly more orky than anything else, this one, but yeah, I like it. Yes, it's nice. It's not my favourite by any means. This is the kind of thing that I thought might have, this probably would have ended up in um, the box set, but they wanted that big you know, Gatling thing instead, and I presume this is a more complex model. Not my favourite, it looks like it's got an alternate build on the back, potentially. Uh, it doesn't mention an alternate build, but yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. It's Guys lugging it along, fought into it. Very cool. Doom Flares. Yeah, they're cool. Very, very Skaven like. But they're cool. Yeah, I like them. I like them. They've got the. You know, they are undeniably Skaven. They are within that aesthetic. You can't quite see it from these pictures, but these bits look like they stick out from the wheels, like, you know, blades that uh, stick out perpendicular. Mining devices. Yeah. Very, very cool. Is that it? It is it? And you've got the Skaven. That's not a particularly great piece of artwork, if I'm being honest. I feel like you could have done better there. And some of the artwork recently has just not been great. We we're doing a video um, about whether or not 40k's got less grimdark. In my opinion, it definitely fucking has. Um, and one of the things we focus on is the artwork. And this is, this is not a great piece of artwork by any means. Again, can I do better? No. But that doesn't mean I can't criticise it. It's like heavy metal. I can't do better than heavy metal painting, but that doesn't mean I can't pick out the flaws when I see them. And, you know, you know me. I pick out flaws when I see them. Yep, yeah, that's your lot. Well, I've got to say, that's... Oh, and I've just confirmed that bits are coming out of the Skaven type box set. I mean, for a redo of an army, that's really nice. That's a very, very, very solid range release. One huge model couple of nice characters I'm still wondering what the hell's going on with that cloak and that's not good that's terrible I'll be tempted to take a, a knife to that if I could because that's awful GW it really is but that's characterful again I mean, the paint job doesn't really help it out but that's very characterful Storm Vermin look great Icky Claw looking good this guy probably the weakest character but not bad Glubbed is 
yep they're lovely really like the warp scar uh, warp spark weapon batteries warp grinder mm, it's all right and these boys doom flares all very very cool this is all mighty fine work in my opinion all these 3d print lines here See that was some clever stippling. Could be some clever stippling there, but we know that GW paint up 3D prints as proofs. We've seen we've seen the lines. GW, you can't hide them. Yep. All in all, that is a, a lovely collection of rats. So that's just a super quick video. Um, just me going through the new releases, um, bitching about stuff, and overall, I think they're really nice. I think they're really nice. I think this is a really really nice range. And um, if you play Skaven, uh, I think you should be very very excited because these are lovely models. Right. I'm going for now, and I'll be back with Matt soon.